yeah, he was fired up and ready to go today. I think uh, when I walked in the door, he was uh, he was ready to go. But uh, we ran through the briefing and had a great flight. <laughs> We did uh, all the loops and all the rolls that you're going to see in the show this weekend here at Scott Air Force Base. So clover loops, loops, barrel rolls, and all the solo maneuvers to include four-point rolls, eight-point rolls, aileron rolls, knife-edge passes, inverted passes, and uh, a couple of repositioning turns out. There's some level repositions as well as some vertical repositioning out there. There's a little more aggressive maneuvering with the four-point roll, the eight-point roll. Uh, we did the knife-edge pass, which uh, we really kind of felt the forces thrown into the other side and forward in the cockpit there. So it's good that we had all the straps holding us in there. And uh, we did the upside down, the inverted flat pass, as well as an inverted two inverted pass, which is an inverted pass with an aileron roll in the middle there. So we had a lot of fun going upside down today and got just a real good appreciation for it, not only what the airplane does, but the physics involved with flight and uh, what the F-16 can do. I mean, it's incredible what these guys are able to do. and. You know, just sitting there in the back seat trying to hold on for dear life was, uh, I had my hands full. I mean, you're trying to flex all your muscles and keep the blood in your head and, you know, even for a couple seconds at a time is uh, extremely taxing and, you know, these guys go out there and in combat, they're flying missions, you know, hours long and able to do these maneuvers and it's, uh, it's very impressive. <laughs> yeah, no, but the rest of the flight was phenomenal to, you know, break out and go above the clouds and we flew to a, an open area where we were able to do all the maneuvers and see the ground and really get the experience. It was, uh, you know, something I'll never forget and something that uh, was very humbling as well. For uh, someone who does not experience a, uh, a high G regime or an aerobatic regime like that, the body reacts in different ways and a lot of times that's how it reacts. But uh, he was a, a great uh, rider. He, in fact, it wasn't an issue at all during the flight. It's just at the last minutes we're coming in the landing, uh, had a little bit of uh, air sick, but other than that, he did a great job. He had fun the entire time, so no issues whatsoever.